Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. We're getting right into your October monthly love reading, Taurus. Let's see what comes out for you. All right, we have this King of Wands energy and I feel like this King of Wands energy, they have had their eye on you for a minute. You've been with this Queen King of Wands energy for a minute now. For some of you, this was definitely a passionate, quick, hot, steamy affair here, but now it's like you're not happy because you're really feeling this person, Taurus, but you know long term it's just not gonna work out. Like you want love, you want your person here, you want a soulmate, and you feel like actually you know this person can't give you what you want, right? You know that it's all about just intimacy here and passion. Um but you're not willing to give this up. You want long term when it comes to love here. You know this person is a player, but you feel completely stuck. You know that you have to end this relationship before this person breaks your heart. For a lot of you here, this person has already done that. You know, like I said, you want this ten of cups life. You want your person, your soulmate, your husband, your wife here. But you know this person cannot give that to you. You... <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that, Taurus. You know. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Leo, another fire sign, Aries, or Sagittarius, guys. Also a Virgo, another earth sign. Yeah, chemistry. You know there's a strong magnetic attraction here. There's, like I said, a lot of passion. It's, it's, it's beautiful here, but we have healing family issues. I feel like you who have been here and done this, not with the same energy here, but um, different energies. You get into these hot passion affairs, you fall in love and seek long term. You know, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And I feel like this, and I feel like this is where your bond is getting stronger, right? Because you guys are talking about things that is beyond um, intimacy here. But for this person, they don't. It's kind of like you're waiting on this commitment. You know, three of cups energy again. This person, I get, I get this person knows that you want this. And I feel like they're unhappy because they don't know if they can give you what you need. For some of you here, this King of Wands does feel this soulmate connection, you know. Um, but again, I feel like in their home life here, we have family, healing family issues. They don't know what love looks like. They don't know um, how love feels. So let's see what they have to say for the month of October with this Tyra moment. I left before you could leave me and I wish I can take back my words here so this person you guys could have broke up here you're unhappy because you knew that this wasn't leading anywhere this could this could have already happened take it how it resonates here you know for the month of october you're trying to move on you're unhappy that this did not work out but we have a tire moment where the truth is coming out you're going to get the truth somehow I left before you could leave me. I wish I can take back my words. This person could potentially want another chance with you. And again, we're in Mercury retrograde. So a lot of craziness can definitely come out here. You're stressed out because you feel like in love, nothing works. And it's like, why do I keep putting myself through this? Like, why can't I get what, which for some of you, why can I get with, why can I get what some of my friends have, right? You know, it's like you're waiting on this time after time when it comes to love. But, you know, things are really trying to manifest in your favor here. There's still some healing that still needs to be done when it comes to your emotions, Taurus. Why is this King of Cups showing up? We have the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase. Yes, healing their inner child. This could be you in regards to healing family issues. There's still some healing child, um, inner child trauma that still needs to be healed. And growth here, talk to your inner child here and, you know. Because it's like you want what he rings. Like I said, you're craving for your person here with the lovers and the queen of pentacles. You just want your person. For the month of October here, you're seeing that, you know, you can want, 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 stress about it all day and out, all day and night. But you have to be able to trust the universe with this. Stop stressing over love. Yet let the universe handle this. You're being so hard on yourselves here because you haven't manifested one yet. Well, in reality, you're trying to manifest it so much, you're blocking it. You're completely blocking this person from coming in. In regards to that, you're feeling this unhappiness, right? The sun, if spirit is trying to tell you, you know, you have your own happiness here, Taurus. The nine of pentacles is showing that it's time to embrace your independence, your true power here. Put all this energy into wanting your soulmate and to yourself who will be here because you're driving yourself nuts. You're driving yourself stressed out, unhappy. For some of you, your hair could be falling out. This nine of swords, the sun in reverse energy with the magician in reverse. It's very strong energy. It's kind of like your mind is playing tricks on you, Taurus. So for the month of October, please tap into your masculine energies. I think 
Libras feels like this as well. A lot of emotions here, and it's because we're in Mercury retrograde. You're going to have to fight harder to get the clarity that you need, or you're going to keep feeling like you're down in the dump, Taurus, when it comes to love. But there's a truth that is trying to come out that someone is going to reveal to you, and this could either transform your, transform your, your, your relationship for the better, Taurus, or is it going to just completely end here? Scorpio energy. There's a secret that's trying to come out that this person has been withholding, and I feel like this is them wanting to work things out with you. It could be dealing with a Libra. Yes, we will be together again. It was my fault, but I blame you. I hide behind material things, and I want you. I remember every detail of that day. So it's like you're yearning for love, you know. You're, again, tired of love not working out, feeling disappointed, but Spirit is saying, Taurus, for the month of October, it's time for you to take this cup, this big, huge, beautiful heart of yours, and put in the work yourself here. You're not. This is why the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands is in reverse, and this is why your love is not coming in, because you're this Queen of Swords in reverse, very kind of upset at the universe for things not working out. And I feel like for some of you, this connection is all about passion and passionate intimacy here. that's why things didn't work out if if you want love you can't go with intimacy first you know it's it's, it's hard to build a relationship if it's based on that from the beginning right so we have a knight of wands in reverse here with the king of cups to judgment yeah this person also feels like they could have gave you more emotionally they're kind of kicking themselves because for some of you like i said if you're dealing with the gemini the love is there. They felt this connection, but, you know, in regards to that, they don't know how. So it's like how to love. So judgment and the Ten of Wands is here where it's like things are always going to be unbalanced. You're always going to feel taken for granted. This person is just never going to heal, right? Eight of Cups energy. They're always going to carry those cups with them, right? King of Wands and Empress in reverse. There's never going to be a balance here right? Because the Eight of Swords is here. You saw that Two of Swords, Temperance in Reverse, and now the Eight of Swords. There's always going to be a blockage here that is just going to be hard to figure out. Yeah, wait, it's not the right time for some of you, and still balance is needed here. All right. Anything else for my Taurus for the month of love? Flare, I send your light heart energy to others. For my singles here, you know, to get out there, have fun. Open your heart up. Stop being so angry and close up. Time to open this heart. Get the clarity that you want. Go on retreat mode and find yourself again because I feel like that's what you need, Taurus, for a lot of you here. Anything else this person wants to say to you for the month of October? I want to be more than friends. I am not available. I love you unconditionally. And I messed up everything. So take it how it resonates, um, Taurus. A lot of situations definitely tried to play out here. Any action steps for my Taurus? Two of Wands, yeah. Know that you choose the path that you seek. Spirit is saying to get your emotions aligned here with your King of Cups and a Dream Reverse. You're um, all over the place here. You're not seeing the victory in this ending the situation that there's a new path that's opening up to you where there's a new profound happiness right now the sun is in reverse because you don't see this you know this little pole is kind of blocking the sun here but if you take that one step you know that page of wands energy you're gonna seek this right seek six of wands going into a new situation that you're gonna get a big one in but you're not believing in yourself with this king of the cups and reverse energy it's time for you to again take this ace of cups get your emotions aligned so that you can start to work hard on this new beginning here right you're not doing that because you still feel like you're being taken advantage of. Like, it's the universe's fault. It's time for you to leave the past behind, Taurus, and embrace this new beginning that you have. That's as simple as that. This could be in regards to this new moon. Energy is coming up on October 6th here. That balance is going to come in. Could have Sagittarius in your chart. Anything else for my Taurus X? Yeah, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a comp. Avoiding a conversation, call a person boundaries, so angry. We have heart with the key, welcoming love, meaning the one. Opening your heart, getting together, perfect. Yeah, because you yearn for this so much, you get frustrated, you get angry, and you get angry at things from the past. And then you get into this heartbroken cycle all over again when you feel deeply hurt, sad, separation. We have breakup again, um, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning here. And then you get into this queen of swords energy where you just feel down the depths because it's like when is this love is going to come in but like i said Taurus, you have to fill this cup 
yourself so this king can come in. So a lot of healing, a lot of growth that needs to be done for the month of October, Taurus. It's not going to be easy, but you have to be able to put this work in. Yeah, know that this is a spiritual lesson. And the spiritual lesson is to teach you boundaries and speak up on love and what you want and not get so angry and closed off. I just saw angel number 1010, guys, so definitely look that up so you can feel unstuck, all right? And put in the work for October. I'm getting October 15th. It's kind of significant for the you guys here, all right? I'm going to leave it there, Taurus, and take care.